Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Lauren. Um, I just wanted to post um, an update today just because I think it's always better to post something when you're actually experiencing it because then you can really remember what's going on. Um, so, pardon me because I'm eating dinner. Today is my last day of stems. After my um, appointment on Friday, they called me and told me later on that instead of me coming in on Monday, they want me to come in tomorrow on Sunday for my ultrasound. I can't tell you how relieved I am to hear that because today has been probably the most uncomfortable that I've been through this entire process by far, as far as like my ovaries and everything. Um, yeah, it's just been insane. So today, it, I'm gonna be honest, like sitting hurts today. Um, it's almost like the pressure from like my, like, I don't know, the pressure of me sitting pushes up into my pelvic area and like puts pressure on my ovaries. And I sort of understand what pregnant girls mean when they say they have to pee all the time because that has been me like 24 hours a day the last two days. Um, and it's not that I actually have to pee that much, it's that I feel like I have to pee that much. And um, I honestly just think it's all the pressure from the ovaries. So, I guess this is what it's gonna feel like when I'm pregnant. Um, it's just a little scarier when it's your ovaries because they're so like small and, I don't know, a part of me is like freaking out that I'm like overstimulated. But um, from everything that I read, most women were the most uncomfortable the last two to three days of stims. Um, so I have one more night of injections tonight with my gonalaf and my menopur. And then in the morning I still have to do my ganarelics. Um, so yeah, um, wow. It's just crazy. I can't believe it's already going to be day nine of stims tomorrow. Um, so they're thinking that tomorrow at my ultrasound that I'll have... Stop crying. I'm not giving you any salmon. No. They're thinking that I'm going to have at least five to six eggs that are in the 20s. And a lot of the 14, 17, you know, those ones are going to be getting close to it. So from what I was kind of like looking at as far as tomorrow goes, I think I'll have close to 13 um, mature tomorrow. And then when I do my trigger shot, that may make a few others kind of mature fully. So, um, huh. I'm ready to be done with this, with the stimming. I'm so bloated. I can't sit comfortably. I had a really hard time putting my socks on today when I bent over my left ovary because that side's fuller and I could totally tell that it was. Um, yesterday I had the worst migraine. I was nauseous, but I think it was more so from my migraine. Um, so today I started to get a migraine um, and then fingers crossed that it's gone, but it kind of just went away. And hopefully, it's not going to come back. So, um, yeah. Ugh. Wow, I'm at a loss for words. So, potentially, then, egg retrieval will be Tuesday, I'm guessing, because I think the trigger is done 36 hours before. And I'm assuming they're going to tell me to do my trigger shot tomorrow night. So I think tomorrow will be my last day of Ganarelix. 
and tonight will be my last day of stims, which means I'll have one dose left over of both the Gonalef and Menopur, which is fine with me at this point. Um, I'll show you, like, I literally feel pregnant, like, and even when I'm sitting, I'm having to sit, like, with my legs like this, because if I sit like this, it's, like, so much pressure, you guys, so if I sit like this, it's, like, everything has a little bit more room. I'm not even pregnant yet. It's just crazy. So, this is, this is my... I'm not even pushing this out, you guys. This is just like my normal, like relaxed stomach right now. Um, when I look at it from above, I can feel that it's definitely more on this side, um, swollen, I guess, and then not as much on this side. But yeah, like it is... I feel like I'm about three or so months pregnant already. And it's, I think it would be different if the pressure was here, but it's like here and here. Like it's just very strange. So I feel the best when I'm standing or when I'm laying flat, either on my back or one of my sides. I do not feel good sitting down. Like, it just feels uncomfortable. I don't feel bad, but it just feels really, really uncomfortable. And I have a hard time dealing with that. Okay, you want some salmon? You want some salmon? I'll give you my little, my little scrapings that are left. There you go. Okay. Get rid of this. Yeah, so that's my update. Um, my estrogen was at only at around 950 something yesterday when she called. It's probably in the thousands today. Um, but she, she wasn't worried. She said she's seen people get up to 5,000 and they are fine. Um, and then my LH, because I'm on the Ganarelix, went back down to 1.2 which is a good thing. That means that it kind of stopped ovulation and everything the way it was supposed to. So my body really reacted in um, exactly the way that it was supposed to for both of those medications. Um, so I'm just, I'm really praying tomorrow morning when I wake up, I feel okay because my last ultrasound was really tender and I'm kind of dreading another internal ultrasound if you know what I mean. <sighs> So, yeah. And then tonight or tomorrow morning before our appointment, we're going to do the last ejaculation of the... It sounds like a movie. The last ejaculation. It's like a porno or something. But we're going to do that so that will give us Sunday, I think we'll do it tonight, so we have all day Sunday, Monday, and then it will be Tuesday morning, and that will be about just a little over two days, and they said two to five days, so yeah, I think that'll be good, so sorry, my thoughts are kind of lost on this, I'm going to post another video tomorrow after my appointment um, with all the details after they schedule my egg retrieval and I'll probably um, post it after I do my trigger shot because I'll be doing it at night, I'm sure. And I'll try to wait an hour after to see how I'm feeling. I've done trigger shots for IUIs before, but I don't think they were 10,000 units. I think they were like 250 units or something like that. So I'm guessing the 10,000 units is not going to feel very nice as far as like nausea and, and or other symptoms and cramping and stuff, especially once my body's getting into gear to get these eggs ready, all um, 20 or so of them. So anyway, I'll post another video tomorrow with the um, final result of how many they think will be mature, which will be nice to hear from the doctor, and we'll go from there. I hope everyone's having a good um, weekend, I guess, and uh, see you tomorrow. Have a good night.